User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way! Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at Ugtastic.com. Hi, it's Mike with Ugtastic. Today I am at the Gene Sisko Film Center and I'm with the Web Visions 2013 conference. I'm sitting down with John Servum. John has been with the conference for about six years as a volunteer, and he's been helping out. Uh, thanks for taking the time to sit down with me, John. I appreciate it. Sure. Uh, so six years is a long time to be involved with the conference. What uh, attracted you to Web Visions and kept you, kept you going for so long? Well, originally, uh, Web Visions was based in Portland, mm -hmm. and the stage manager, sort of in charge of all the tech crew and making sure speakers and the show stay on time, uh, is a guy named Ross Olson. And uh, I worked with Ross, mm -hmm. and... Uh, the very first year that I worked with him, he was my supervisor. He said, "Hey, why don't you spend the week volunteering at this web conference and well, that's, that's and don't cool. do it as paid time off?" Yeah, and I was hooked. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the sessions as a volunteer. I was mm -hmm. able to listen to the sessions that I wanted to listen to, and I started making friends with the speakers and I started making friends with the crew. And then they couldn't get rid of me. Yeah, and so it's been about three years since I've worked with Ross, but I continue to volunteer. Um, he still runs the show in Portland, right. but uh, Web Visions flies me to Chicago, to New York, to oh, wow. Atlanta. Oh, so you're still based. You're not like local here. They're, they no. flew you all the time. I still live in Portland, okay. and um, but I would like to think, you know, I did a good job for yeah. them. I showed up on time, and I worked hard, and so they take me to all the cities, and yeah. um, and I run the stage crew uh, in, in the various cities. So so as a volunteer, you've, you've, you've been able to come in and be like, hey, this is just cool, and because... The conference grew, and you were there in the beginning. You were able to grow with the right. conference. Right. I've grown with the conference. I've uh, they've generally given me more responsibility with each mm -hmm. show. Until now, I'm I pretty much run the show, oh, keeping wow. it on time, making sure all the tech works, making sure speakers show up on time, um, and uh, uh, I guess I, I, the um, I, I lost what I was going to tell you. <laughs> um, let me see if I can find it again. Um, well, oh, uh, I was going to say, uh, I, I think because I was there early on and, and because they've trusted me with so much, I've had the opportunity to travel, but I've also had the opportunity to meet the speakers. Right. And since some of the speakers are quite regular, um, we've developed a relationship that now I think they trust me and they know right. if Johnny's at the show, it's going to be good. Yeah, the microphones yeah. will work, the video's going to work. Um, and so I think uh, even for the speakers, it's kind of nice that they see familiar faces when, when they do the conference. Right. So they can come in and they know I don't have to worry about right. whether or not this stuff's going to work when I'm standing in front of 100 people. It's going right. to be, I can just focus and I can deliver quality and I can be confident and comfortable. Right. So, uh, do you have any funny anecdotes or, or anything that you've uh, seen over the years, or maybe something that, when you came in, you, you thought one way, but it turned out to be different? Hmm. Um, you know, I think uh, many times I thought the speakers, because so many of them are experts with mm -hmm. whatever they do, whether it's design or code or you know building little devices, mm -hmm. they're experts, and I think there's a tendency to put them on a bit of a pedestal. Right. And what you find out is they're just very regular people. Right. They um, they're afraid of spiders. <laughs> they're you know they they get out of the car the same way, or they right. you know they they only drink water with their left hand. You find these little idiosyncrasies, yeah. and it sort of it sort of brings them down a little bit. Um, and when you get on a first name basis with somebody like uh, Jason Kinesh, mm -hmm. he he was in charge of all the UX for the Obama campaign. Right. This guy was huge responsibility, huge creativity. And couldn't be nicer, and couldn't be more down right. to earth, and and you find out they're really just regular people, and it gives you that feeling that I can do this, right? You know, right. in this industry, I can do this as well as them. It's just, you know, they've had a knack, or they've got a gift, or they've created something special, mm -hmm. but it's, it, they're regular people, right? Well, thank you very much for taking the time to sit down. Sure, I appreciate it. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way! Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at Ugtastic.com.